I want to share three stocks that I bought recently where I invested more than $20,000. And one of them is a super high quality Canadian company that's dropped more than 30% and nearing 52 week lows. In the past month, the stock market has been hitting all time highs because of the big tech giants, majority of AI related companies. And whenever that happens, I get a little bit scared. So I check the fear index just to gauge sentiment. And as you can see, it is greedy mode. Normally during this time, I play much more a cautionary investor because I only like buying quality companies when they are on sale. But this doesn't stop me from investing. I just am very, very, very choosy on the quality companies that I invest in. Now, the first one is TD Bank, which is a beloved Canadian company, one of the biggest banks in all of Canada, and it has recently dropped to massive lows. Recently, it was at 52 week lows and I pounced on this. Why did TD Bank drop? Well, recently TD Bank has been facing massive legal and regulatory issues. For example, it's been facing money laundering problems or AKA called anti-money laundering controls, which led to a proposed class action lawsuit. So that caused the stock to drop because of concerns of fines and reputational damage. But Am I worried? Of course not. Here's my reasons why. Now in the past, TD Bank has faced many, many massive downturns, and I'm just gonna share a few of them to give you some perspective. In the early 2000s, during the tech bubble, the TD Bank stock dropped more than 30%. During SARS outbreak, it also dropped more than 20%. In the global financial crisis, which is in the thick of massive fear with the financial banks, with subprime mortgages, with housing prices falling, United States, and a lot of bankruptcies. TD Bank stock also dropped 40%. Now fast forward, we also had the COVID crash, which had 40% drop. Then we also had a securities, Silicon Valley, the small banks crashing and burning in February of 2023. And that also caused TD Bank stock to drop. And more recently, of course, regulatory and legal issues. So all I've been trying to get at is TD Bank has definitely dropped multiple times over the past 24 years. And each of these events were individually very, very scary. But I want to tell you, if you don't need your money for 10, 20, 30 years, these are golden opportunities. As you can see over the long run, TD Bank over 10, 20, 30 years has done super, super well. My motto is zoom out and chill out. Now, hi, just in case you don't know me, my name is Tracy. I'm an ex-engineer turned full-time business owner and part-time investor of a multi-million dollar investment portfolio that I built up over two decades. If you love learning about how to build multiple streams of income and wealth in Canada, then you definitely want to hit the subscribe button and that bell notification button to get the latest and greatest videos coming to you every single week. So let's get back with the video. The next stock that I invested in is an ETF. Now this is not really investing, it's just holding cash actually. I'm hoarding my cash into a higher yield ETF fund. Because the fear index is getting really, really greedy, I've been uh, hoarding cash and just waiting for another opportunity. This ETF, which is called cash, well, fancy, I like the word cash. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it's, what it means is that I get to hold my funds in a corporate account into a higher yield ETF that's highly liquid. For those who are not self-employed or, or not incorporated, this probably won't apply to you because you probably have options where you're going to get a higher yield savings account that gives you four, four and a half percent, five percent. But when it comes to self-employed people, especially who have small businesses who are incorporated and just have cash lying around, it's not that easy to just open a high yield savings account. I really haven't found that. I want something that's highly liquid. And that's why I invested into this cash ETF, which gives you decent yield. What I love about it is that I can easily sell it and get back the cash. Now, the downside is that the yield is against the Bank of Canada rate. So if the rates start dropping, well, the yield is also going to start dropping. Imagine like a GIC that's cashable. Instead of holding for 30, 60, 90 year out, you could just hold on to this even for days and then cash out if you need your funds. This ETF is backed by treasury bills, which in my personal opinion, makes it quite safe. But of course, this is not a guaranteed investment, unlike a GIC. 
But at the same time, there's no holding period. So I really like this liquidity and it's really good for self-employed people who don't have many options making some passive income with the cash that they're hoarding in their corporate account or they need it for cash flow reasons to run their business. My last investment is a beloved tech company, which is NVIDIA. But of course, I don't want to invest in NVIDIA right now, which is reaching all time highs, even though it dropped a little bit, it's still Ooh. rocketing to the moon. When it dropped recently, I took advantage of it and bought a cash secure put, which is basically a contract where I decided to buy NVIDIA if it ever hits at a price of $83 a share. The only caveat is if I invest into this cash secure put, which is an options contract, it means I have to buy 100 shares for every contract I sell. So I sold two contracts, which means that I'm obligated to buy 200 shares of NVIDIA if it ever hits $83 or lower between now and June 2025. These contracts are otherwise known as leaps. Now, if you want to learn more about options investing, let me know in the comments below. Comment options. If I get enough comments, 100 comments saying options, then I'll make a 101 video about selling options smartly for investors in Canada. So comment options in the comments below. Now here's my reason for picking a price of $83 for NVIDIA. And it's literally super simple because NVIDIA doesn't have much debt. It has super amounts of cash flow. I'm using the price per earnings, which is telling you how expensive or how cheap the stock is. So with NVIDIA at a price of $83 per share, and I looked at its forecasted earnings, which you could go to Yahoo Finance, and check the analysis, you could see the forecasted earnings, which is the earnings per share. And I saw that it could earn $3.38 in the upcoming year. 83 divided by 3.38, it gives you a price per earnings of 25. Now, please tell me, when was the last time NVIDIA has been at a price per earnings of 25? That means that this company would be a slowing dinosaur company. Here's my reasons why. AI is growing at a compound annual growth rate of 37%. NVIDIA is like the brain behind NVIDIA, its GPU chips. And in order for all these tech companies to take advantage of all this AI compute power, they need to build data centers or replace the data centers with GPUs from NVIDIA. And it turns out the cost of these data centers, NVIDIA takes home approximately 40% including location costs, which is insane. So here I am trying to catch it Ooh, one year from now, hoping if ever, if NVIDIA ever drops to $83 per share, I get to own 200 shares of NVIDIA. The worst case is that I could put these two contracts out and in return for owning these two contracts, I get some premium, which is income of $1,000. I collect this $1,000 and I'm like hoping and praying that I get to own NVIDIA $83 a share, but NVIDIA may never drop to this price until years away, past June 2025. So worst case, I wouldn't own any NVIDIA at $83 a share. Best case is that I really hope NVIDIA drops because of temporarily fear in the market. NVIDIA has just one bad quarter and sends the stock dropping. I just hope that there's like some temporarily bad pain happening and NVIDIA may drop. $83 a share. This exact strategy is the one I used to buy AMD, the poor brother of NVIDIA, and I bought AMD at $70 per share. Back during the last bear market when all the tech stocks were dropping and I got to own, very lucky, 200 shares of AMD by selling two lead contracts. Exact strategy I am doing now for NVIDIA. Warning, I only do this strategy because I actually have the funds to invest in NVIDIA at 200 shares at $83 per share. That means I have to have the money in June, 2025, if NVIDIA ever drops. That means I would never sell naked, not mean like literally naked, but actually meaning I don't have the money. I would never do this because it's super dangerous and it would put me and my family at risk. And by the way, I share my latest trades on the Blossom app, which is a, a lovely Canadian app for DIY investors. If you want to join a community, which I highly recommend because it makes investing a lot less lonely and you get to ask me questions. Bonus, you can get paid 
to learn. If you're a Canadian DIY investor or even a U.S. investor, you can join and download this app for free. I'll link it in my comments below. Remember, if you want me to do a video on option selling for smart investors, the basics of it, 101, let me know in the comments below by saying options. Anyways, I hope to see you in the next video.